So before we start, like I have so much dry shampoo in my hair that like I'm so sorry if my roots like look white or like ashy because the amount of dry shampoo I have in my hair is not okay. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a favorites video and it is going to be truly everything that I am loving about my life right now. <laughs> um, the reason I chose to do like this kind of video, like kind of like a shit or like a stuff that I'm loving is because I don't feel like, um, like I know a lot of beauty YouTubers go through like makeup favorites uh, every month and I just don't go through that much makeup that I possibly could do like a favorites video like strictly re like related to makeup every month but I really think I'm going to start doing these type of videos because I really really enjoy them so this is going to cover makeup beauty like skincare hair fashion household stuff for all my moms out there um I have a book I have tv shows that I want to talk about I have food that I want to talk about this is truly just everything about my life that I'm enjoying right now. <laughs> so as always, make sure you like you let me know, like leave a like if you do like these videos. I really want to start doing them um, monthly, like once a month. I think that, I don't know, I really enjoy these videos and I hope you really enjoy them too. So just let me know if you do like these. So yeah guys, so let's begin the video. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already. I would love to have you part of my little YouTube family. Next week on my channel, Monday through Friday, I'm uploading every single day. Well, Monday through Friday I'm uploading one video per day and it is spring cleaning week on my channel. So I'm going to be giving you a new cleaning video Monday through Friday. Uh, I am super excited for spring cleaning. I have been waiting for this for so long and I've been holding off, but like, now like I'm ready for spring. Like I need a change. I need to clean out this house. So there will be a new cleaning video every day, Monday through Friday, either my cleaning routines, ultimate cleans with me, decluttering videos. So if you like those kind of videos, make sure you stick around, make sure you subscribe. And yeah, so let's begin this favorites video. So I'm going to start with makeup and then I'm just going to kind of go down the line, like makeup, beauty, fashion. I have my list. So we'll go in that order. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Yeah, the loose finishing powder. I have the color 05 Fair. That is what the packaging looks like. Be careful, like these corners are really sharp. So just be careful with that. <laughs> um, and the lid just twists off. So this has a tint to it and they also have a lot of different colors for a variety of skin tones. And I got this a couple weeks ago and basically I'm just, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with it. Uh, a couple months ago I ran out of my Laura Mercier translucent powder, which you guys know that I love so much. That was my ride or die powder. And I just didn't have the money to replace it or I didn't really want to replace it. I wanted to kind of go through um, like the powders that I had in my collection before buying more. But I didn't really love, like I like the Cody Airspun. But now that I have this, like the Cody Airspun's getting thrown out. No, <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's not getting thrown out. Just this is a lot better. Um, the Cody Airspun is cheaper, like by volume, I believe at Target. This is six bucks. Don't quote me on that. I'll link it in the description box. But yeah, guys, this is comparable to Laura Mercier. It's really, really good. It has amazing reviews. And if you're in the market for a new powder and you don't want to spend a lot, I would check this out. The next makeup item I have is actually a set of brushes. I have not actually talked about them on my channel, like officially. So if you've been around my channel for a super long time, you know that I did a video a while back about all of my favorite affordable makeup brushes. So I have gotten new brushes since then, so I haven't really talked about the brushes that I use now. And I just feel like brushes aren't talked about enough in the makeup community, and makeup brushes play a huge part in makeup. If I can make, like if I have good brushes and I'm making something look good, like a makeup product look good, like an eyeshadow palette or something, you could have that same eyeshadow palette, but if you don't have the right brushes or you don't have good brushes, you are not gonna get the same results as me. And it's not the eyeshadow palette, it's the brushes. But I just feel like beauty gurus and YouTubers don't talk about brushes enough. And I feel like that needs to change because brushes are, I believe, even more than, more important than the product itself. If you have good brushes, you can make a shitty product work really good and vice versa. So. The brushes I want to talk about today are from the brand Lamora, L-A-M-O-R-A. -A. I will link them in the description box. If you've watched any of my makeup tutorials, I have talked about these before. You can get these on Amazon. 
The whole set is $13 for four brushes and they are amazing. Um, so you get two, I'm just going to zoom in here. So the white ones are synthetic. I mean, the white ones are natural fibers and the black ones are, um, synthetic fibers. These two are like for transition shades, or at least that's what I use them for, like very fluffy, fluffy uh, blending brushes. This brush, it says that it's an all over shadow brush. I don't think it's for that. This is like too fluffy for me to apply eyeshadow with. I prefer kind of like a flat shader brush. Um, but this is, I just use it for a kind of like a more defined crease. And then the same thing with this one. This one's like a rounded crease brush. I'm sorry if my camera's not focusing. I am trying here. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, these brushes are amazing. I've had them for quite a while now, like a good few months. Like I think since before Christmas, I want to say, I think. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, and I have washed them multiple times. Not Very minimal shedding, not a lot of issues. And I just think that they are amazing for the price. Makeup brushes can get really expensive when you start look, looking at MAC and when you start looking at Sigma. Sephora brushes are okay, um, but they're up there. But for the whole set for, 14, uh, for $13, I'm gonna take it. These are really good guys. So moving on into the beauty category, I have two face masks that I wanna talk about. Um, the first one is from the brand Pacifica and I love Pacifica just as a brand. Their nail polishes, they're not in my favorites this month, but definitely check out their nail polishes. They are amazing. So Pacifica is a natural brand, so none of their products have um, like parabens. Uh, none, a lot of them don't have like harsh sulfates in them. What is, what is this here? So this one is a face mask um, that is made for like anti-aging and hydration. It is peptides, uh, hydration, dreamy youth is yours, flowers, peptides, and rose hips. It's cruelty free and it's 100% vegan. It's a sheet mask and oh my goodness, this is so this is so good. I have tried all of their sheet masks except for the new one that just came out, the Crystal Glow one and that one doesn't have good reviews but I've tried like the anti-stress, the anti-pollution. Oh and I haven't tried out the mattifying one, the pineapple one. Um, but I have tried this one and this one is my favorite. This one definitely does like smooth, like it plumps your face and especially in the winter like that is what I need. The, the dry, like dry skin is the exact opposite of what you want. <laughs> Um, if your skin is dry or dehydrated, it's going to emphasize every little wrinkle, wrinkle, it's going to emphasize every little wrinkle and line in your face. And unfortunately I have not been the best with my skincare today. And I feel like it's, we're well, not today. I haven't been the best with my skincare for like a week and it's showing. Like, I think the lines in my forehead are more pronounced today. I think you can really see my smile lines coming out. And that's just because I've been pretty bad with my skincare. I haven't been washing my face twice a day. I haven't been moisturizing. I haven't been keeping up with my face masks, but when I do keep up with my face mask and my skincare, this is a staple and it just, it plumps all the lines in your face and it just, it really helps. I wouldn't say the effects are long lasting, like more than like a couple days. So I recommend using this twice a week and I just, I've had really amazing results with it and I really, really enjoy it and it smells good. So, and then the other mask that I want to talk about is the Yes to Tomatoes uh, Detoxifying Charcoal Mud Mask with Silicetic, is that how you pronounce it? Sil Silicetic Acid? That is what it looks like. So this isn't a sheet mask. This is a, um, like a mud mask. Like you squeeze this out. There's product in here. And this is, this is really good. You guys know, again, if you've been around for a while, I have pretty like congested large pores in like my T-zone around my nose, all right here, forehead and on my chin. I went to get a facial a couple weeks ago and I thought that extractions were like how to help this. And the um, the woman that was doing my facial, what are they called? Like estheticians, right? That's what they're called. <laughs> um, she said that she doesn't do extractions. Like she'll only do an extraction if it's like a blackhead or like a pimple, but just kind of large congested pores. She always suggests um, a mixture of glycolic acid and silicetic. Is that how you pronounce it? Sila yeah, silicetic, right? <laughs> and silicetic acid. Um, glycolic acid is more of like a chemical peel versus like a scrub, like an exfoliation. She suggests using glycolic acid instead of like a surface scrub. And 
Did I say glycolic acid? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I said glycolic acid. But psilocytic acid is perfect for congestion, like large pores that are congested. Psilocytic acid really like seeps in there and like dissolves the gunk and brings it out. And this does that. Again, I really need to be using this more than I am. Uh, ideally, I use this twice a week and I use this twice a week. And when I am doing that, my skin is near perfect, guys. Like, it, it helps kind of, you know, draw, draw like that gunk out, close the pores. It really, really helps. I do need to pick up some glycolic acid, um, like a complexion pad, because that's what she recommended. But yeah, guys, this is really good. This is by far the best, like, pore minimizing mask that I've tried. And I like this. I like, um, I think that Indian clarifying mud, what is it called? Like calcium bicarbonate or whatever you can get on Amazon in the big tub. That one's really good. Glam Glow is really good. But Glam Glow is expensive and the uh, Indian healing clay is a, such a pain in the ass to like mix. And this is just easy. You just buy it and put it on your face, you know? <laughs> so guys, I really, really like this. And check it out if you have some big pores. So I want to talk about the dry shampoos that I have been using. I've had these for a while, guys. I've had these definitely since before Christmas, um, and I'm starting to run out now. So I have Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Dry Shampoo, and I have Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy uh, Body Building Dry Shampoo. I interchange these, um, and i got to be honest, I haven't really found a difference in either one. Supposedly they do the same thing, only this is for tousled texture and this is for a fresh blowout. Truly guys, I haven't noticed a difference. Like I feel like they work the same. They definitely leave a white stripe, which is why my hair kind of looks weird today, I think. Um, but the smell, guys, the smell is so good. This one's toasted coconut and this one is orange mango. I think I'm gonna step with Beach Babe because toasted coconut smells so good. Like just, you're on a beach with a pina colada it's just, oh my goodness, it's so, so good. I really like these. They're super affordable. I don't know the price off the top of my head. I'll either like put it on the screen or link it in the description, but I really enjoy these for drugstore dry shampoos, and I've been using them for a while now. Um, and then the last kind of beauty item I have to talk about is my nails. Uh, and again, I feel like I'm a broken record, but it just depends on how long you've been around my channel because I don't like to talk about the same things over and over and over and over again in every, every single video, but I have talked about my nails. Like I talked about them significantly, like a lot, like let's say like six months ago. And then I kind of died off because I just don't like to kind of inundate you guys with like the same thing. Like buy this product, buy this product, buy this product, buy this product. But these nails, oh my God. So these are the Kiss gel fantasy nails and they are gel nails um super high shine just really really beautiful i have red and i have black and the color i have on my hands right now i have a piece of hair is like this nudie pink i'm sorry i don't have thumbs right now i knocked both i lost both my thumbnails at the gym the other day so. but i know these kind of look like crap but i want to keep in mind these nails are going on three weeks like they're so good, guys. They stay on forever. They're so, so good. And I don't know if these are new or not. This black one says that they're new, but maybe that's just the color. But like I said, I have red and I have black and I have this color. They have a ton more colors. Please, guys, go pick them up. They are such an amazing, like, alternative to the drugstore. I mean, an alternative to the nail salon. I've heard a lot of people say that they do fall off on them, but what I have found is that um, you need to rough up your real nail before, like when, if you like have fake nails already, like take the fake nails off, take an emery board and like really rough up your real nail good. And if you remember, that's actually what they do in the salon too, before they put on acrylics, they always rough up your real nails. And that just like has something for like the nail and the glue to like grip to. So yeah, if I do it like the way I'm supposed to do it and like don't take any shortcuts, these nails last three weeks. Like they're so good. I want to talk about a pair of shoes. That's the only thing in the fashion category I have. And they are my hunter boots. Oh my goodness. I love my hunter boots. Everybody makes fun of me. Everybody makes fun of me. I'm like my galoshes. I love my hunter boots. Oh my God. And they're bright red and I love them. Like, oh my God. For the fall and the springtime, which is why I'm bringing them up because it's the warm weather is happening finally, even though we did get a foot of snow two days ago, but you know. Yeah, so these are my hunter boots. They're amazing. I know they're expensive, guys. They are expensive, but they're so cute, and these are, like, 
no water is getting in. Like these are like, oh my, like my feet have never been so dry. <laughs> But I just love these with like a cute pair of skinny jeans and like a nice sweater and I'm just, I'm all about them. Last year we went to the tulip farm. We have a tulip farm that is a little bit away from our house and it is, it's so beautiful there in the springtime. But it's usually, you know, April showers and, you know, April showers into May and these boots are just amazing for just like, I don't know, walking around in like the muddy flower fields. And I just love them, I love them, I love them, and I I can't wait for like the snow to melt and like it gets a little bit warmer because there's no lining in these, it's just plastic, so your feet will get pretty cold unless you have like some intense socks on. So I do prefer to wear them like in the little bit of a warmer months, not like the middle of February or March. But yeah guys, I can't wait. I cannot wait to wear these and super exciting Target. You know how like Target has like collabs usually with like big designers? Target is coming out with a collab with Hunter and all of the boots are under $50. So if you are in the market for a new pair of rain boots but you can't afford like Hunter's, check out the Target collab because I'm definitely gonna do that. <laughs> all right, so now I'm gonna move on to household stuff for all my moms out there. Actually, this isn't even for moms, but I'm just saying that because I know a lot of my subscribers I think are here for my cleaning videos. So, <laughs> so I wanted to just shout out like household items that I really love. And the first thing that I am, oh my god, I'm almost out and I'm definitely going to buy more. This is the Honest Company, the my multi-surface grapefruit grove multi-surface like spray. Um, Honest Company is Jessica Alba, yeah, Jessica to Alba's brand. So there's no dyes, no ammonia, synthetic fragrances, no chlorine bleach, just like a ton of bad stuff. There's, there's none of that. And this smells so good, oh my god. I really want, I don't know, like I have to go to Target, I have to look around, but I'm almost certain like, did, I don't know if they have like, like a big jug of this, like an all purpose cleaner. I don't, I think maybe they have hand soap, but right now I've only seen the countertop spray. And this smells so good guys, and it's so good for summer and spring, and like I want my whole house to smell like this. Obviously if you don't like grapefruit, like you're not gonna like this, but what I like about grapefruit, it's not too citrusy. Like sometimes I get sick of lemon, like I don't wanna smell lemon anymore. And I just want something like a little bit like prettier and like just nicer, so that's why I bought this. I love this guys, I love this. It does work. I wouldn't say that it's like for extremely heavy messes, but it's gonna take care of your everyday like spills, like your counters and your stove and stuff like that. But if you're anything like really caked on, like you need the good shit, like you need the heavy duty shit. But <laughs> this, um, this is great for every day and I have been loving it. Uh, and then the next thing I wanna talk about is a Bath and Body Works candle. Oh my God. This is in the um, scent Sunlit Cedar. <sighs> it is from obviously Bath and Body Works and it's like their White Barn collection. So I don't know if this, is this like their premium brand or something? I don't, I don't know. It smells so good guys. It is fresh cut cedar, eucalyptus, and cypress leaves. Uh, to me, and I haven't burned it that much and I've had this for a while. If you guys like watch any of my makeup tutorials, this is always the candle in the background. It smells like men's cologne. Like I don't know if anybody else loves men's cologne. Like I feel like I, maybe I'm weird, I don't know, but I love, like if there was one smell that I could ever smell for the rest of my life, it would either be a brand new freshly bathed baby. Sorry, <laughs> I love the smell of babies. Oh. <laughs> or it would be men's cologne. I love men's cologne so much. And that's what this smells like. It's a little bit more woody, if that makes sense. It's a little bit more perfumey than a men's cologne, but it's so good. So I don't burn this a lot. You can see like I've barely touched it and I've had this for months. And the reason I don't burn it so much is because these are so heavily fragranted. So when I'm like doing a makeup tutorial or something like that, I'll light this and I'll close my like my makeup room door. And so this will like fill the room with fragrance and then this will hang out like after I blow out the candle, my room will smell like that for like three days. Like it is so heavily fragranted, which I guess kind of sucks because sometimes you want to like change it up and you don't want the room to smell like it always like, like the same thing always. But I love this candle so much, I don't have a problem with that. So they do last, like I said, quite a long time just because the whole room always smells like it. <laughs> so I'm almost done guys. The last couple things I have to talk about is I have a book that I wanna talk about and then I have a couple of TV shows, like Netflix shows, uh, and then I'm kinda done. So that's good, we're gonna wrap this up, I promise. 
So the book that I want to talk to you about is Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. If you guys watched the my book video from Lifestyle Week a couple weeks ago, this was on my, my to be read list. And uh, I didn't have the money to buy it, so I was like, wait a minute, novel idea, Jessica, go to the library. So I did, so I went to the library and I picked this up and I read it in three days. I am completely obsessed with this book. And I have learned like just through the power of the internet is that Elizabeth Gilbert, like either you love her or you hate her. Like Eat, Pray, Love, which was her first book, it was like there was no in between it was like either like five stars or like one star like like I think I don't know people have their thoughts about Elizabeth Gilbert I haven't read Eat Pray Love so I don't know anything about it I am just taking this book like for what it's worth and I think again you're gonna love this book or you're gonna hate this book it depends on kind of the life that you choose to live and if you are trying to live a creative life, and when I say creative, I don't just mean like painting or drawing, like writing, cooking, like culinary arts, starting a YouTube channel, um, anything where you like kind of create something and put it out into the world, put it out into the universe, I think that you should read this book. I really, really do. It has completely changed my perspective on what it means to live a creative life and just that there's ideas and there's inspiration all around us and it's kind of just up to us to be open to it and grab it when it comes by and just not putting these ridiculous pressures on yourself about what it means to live a creative life and just kind of what society tells us about being creative like you don't you're not creatively legitimate unless you make a mo you like make money from your art, which is just so silly. Um, so yeah, guys, and I I'm gonna be honest. I think I just read this book at the right time. Um, I think a reason that I like it is I I really do believe this that maybe if I wasn't at this point in my life, I wouldn't have liked this book so much. But I think it's kind of just the message that I needed to hear. And I think I just read this book at the I think we all know like a, like divine intervention, you know like. You read something, you hear something, you watch something at the exact moment that you need it, you know? And I think that's what this book was. It's just, I read it at the exact time in my life that I needed to. And um, yeah, if you are trying to live a creative life or you just feel like you need some creativity in your life, read that book. So uh, the last things that I wanna talk about are the TV shows that I've, or the Netflix shows that I've been watching. And I wasn't originally going to talk about them because I have been watching them for the past two days only and I planned this video out like last week. <laughs> so um, the TV, the first TV show that I already finished, I finished it last night, is called Flint Town. It is uh, the story of Flint, Michigan. It starts in November of 2015, like right after the water crisis had kind of become a national issue. And then it follows it all the way to present day. It's only eight episodes long so you can go through it pretty quick. I went through it in two days. <laughs> It's been a rough couple of days. Like all I've been doing is like watching Netflix. I, I really need to clean my house. Thank God spring cleaning week is right around the corner. Um, but yeah, so Flint, Michigan is an incredibly poor city in America. I believe it was the number one, like the poorest city in the country. And I, unless you live under a rock, I don't need to tell you about Flint, Michigan. And it just, it explored the issues that the city is facing so much more than like just the water crisis like just the issues that the police deal with and just the issues that the communities deal with even before the water crisis ever happened and just the poverty there and it opened my eyes i didn't know everything that was going on in flint like other than the water crisis and i gotta be honest it is it is a depressing documentary so actually both of the shows that i'm going to talk about are pretty depressing so <laughs> um so i really enjoyed it it opened my eyes it explored um it explored the presidential election and how the people of Flint voted and why they voted the way they did. It talks about police brutality and Black Lives Matter and just kind of the rub that's there. And it just, uh, it's a really, really amazing series. Netflix did a great job with it. And I definitely recommend it. And the next series that I am in the middle of, I think I'm on episode five of, of eight episodes again, and it's Girls Incarcerated. This uh, follows around the lives of a few girls that are in a juvenile detention center in Indianapolis. And who, oh my goodness, this show is just so emotionally charged and it is, it is just, oh my God, it is heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. 
these girls like just have so much anger and so many emotions and just really it's anger just they're very very angry and just learning about their backstories and where they came and or where they came from and why they're there like you just realize that a lot of these girls are just pretty scared and they just need a hug you know and it opened my eyes even more so just because I'm a parent of a young girl and it just opened my eyes more that it's like it's not about like it's not about like even being a good parent like or having like oh my kid exceeds in school like it's not about that it's just about like loving the shit out of your kids and being a support system and like teaching them healthy coping like healthy coping mechanisms and oh my god it just breaks my heart it breaks my heart over and over and over again and if you've been around my channel for a while you know that I want to um my husband and I want to get our foster license this year and a lot of these kids come from you know they've been in and out of the foster system and just to hear the stories about what they had to endure in foster system in the foster system and the the abuse that they adored from their parents I mean every type of abuse that you could possibly imagine physical mental emotional verbal sexual abuse and it's just it's awful but it's just super important that we don't like turn away from people like this like they need a lot of love so uh I I know it's depressing but it's I don't know. I gotta recommend it to you guys because it's oh, it's an amazing, amazing documentary. I shouldn't say documentary, like docu series, because they are series. Um. Also, you guys know that I am kind of still on keto, kind of not. I'm gonna leave a few of my favorite recipes for keto in my description box. You can check that out if you are interested. And lastly, I am just going to leave you with this uh, something that I've really been in loving recently. Like my favorite stuff, <laughs> or my favorite thing is I've really had a different mindset over the past month or so. And I've really been just making a choice to live a more mindful life and kind of stop uh, spending a lot of my time on on uh, Facebook. You know, every night I've just found myself kind of just scrolling through like the endless information on Facebook and Twitter and that's just mindlessness, you know? And I've just been really, really working toward mindfulness versus mindlessness, if that's a word. Mind mindless? Yeah, like mindless choices or living a mindless lifestyle versus a mindful lifestyle. So I've been trying to read a lot. I have been, you know, less social media, unfollowing people that I think are really toxic. I, I don't want to see their content anymore, you know. Um, reading more, watching docu-series about real world issues and stuff like that. And I'm joining a gym, or I have joined a gym, sorry. Um, so yeah, so I've really been enjoying enjoying the gym. I haven't gone as much as I want to, but I've really been trying. So yeah, guys, so that's where I'm going to leave you. So I love you forever. Make sure you tell me if you like this video or not. Let me know what your favorite things are this month. I'm always interested to, I don't know, explore new things. So I love you from the bottom of my heart and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.